the twins. We teach at the one o'clock service. Today is All Saints Day. Saints are honored by the Christian church because their lives are examples of how Christians should live. There are about 10,000 recognized saints of the church. They were people like you and me. God made us all perfect when he first created the world. But then sin came into the world and that we were, were broken and not very useful at all. But he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to save us from our sins and reunite us with God. So, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we can become whole again and be useful, just like all these saints. They were made useful by Jesus, and they did wondrous things. There are St. Mary and St. Joseph, St. Francis and St. Bernadette, St. Jude and St. Teresa, Juan Diego and Our Lady of Guadalupe, there's the children of Fantima that saw the operation of Mary, Lucia, Jessica, and Francisco, and St. Gerard. There's also other saints like John the Baptist, St. Michael the Archangel, St. Margaret of Scotland, St. Francis, St. Nicholas, Thomas Beck, St. Luke, St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Cecilia, and St. Bridget. And then there's all of you. You're all saints in training. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain. And after he sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad for your reward will be great in heaven. We just heard the gospel reading from Mark 5, 1 through 12. That's the about the Beatitudes. Do you have any questions? We have a question. What is your question, Joshua? Miss Virginia, why is it called the Beatitude? They are called the Beatitudes because they are blessed attitudes. They are what ways of thinking and acting, so you are blessed by both God and others. Marissa, what was your question? What are people's poor in spirit? People are, who are poor in spirit know that they do things wrong, so they ask Jesus to forgive them. They know they need Jesus. Why would the meek inherit the earth? I thought if you were weak, you were weak. No, Joshua, being meek is standing strong in your faith and not getting angry or taking revenge. Jesus was meek when he was put on trial and when the soldiers whipped him and he was crucified. He could have taken his revenge he could have stopped it all, but he didn't. Miss Virginia, who are those who are hungry and thirst for righteousness? Well, Melissa, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness are those who people who see something wrong being done, like someone being bullied, and they just don't stand there and do absolutely nothing. They go and tell their teachers so that the teacher can help some, the person who is being bullied. Or they try to become that person who is being bullied's friend. I get it. If we show mercy, God will show mercy to us. 
Yes, and we are supposed to be kind and try to be at peace with others, even if they are trying to pick a fight and be mean. What about the pure of heart? Who are they? The pure in heart are people who keep their focus on Jesus, and only Jesus. What are persecuted for righteousness sake, Miss Virginia? Yeah, those are big words. Well, those people who are persecuted for righteousness sake means they were persecuted and treated Persecute means being treated badly because you believe in God. And perhaps because the way you act because you are a Christian. The saints and the martyrs were persecuted for believing in Jesus. They were hurt and sometimes even killed because but God rewarded them by taking them to heaven. The Beatitudes is a guide for on how we should live like Jesus lived. Beatitude is a blessed attitude. Bless God and your neighbor with a Beatitude. Hi, we're up in the balcony to do our craft. We have the apostles up here, the martyrs, the prophets, and the saints known only to God, the children, the businessmen, the physician, and the laborers. And in the middle window, it's our reward in heaven when we get to see Jesus face to face. Today we're going to do the craft, which is a beatitude beehive. And you're going to take your, take your thing, tie a knot, thread it through, And you're, she's going to go in and start punching those out. Well, I'm knotting it. And this is a real simple craft. The directions are in the bag. bag. As you can see, there's lower directions. And then you're going to just peel and stick. There's the peacemakers, the poor in spirit, spirit, the pure in heart, the meek, those that are per who are persecuted for righteousness sake, and those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Remember, have a beatitude.